Hey, welcome back everybody. Tim Walsh at the Illinois Fire Service Institute during the hands-on portion of the dispatcher's training conference. Right now the dispatchers are actually leading out. Or if you're in another part of the state, it's called pulling lines, right? Leading out, whatever you want to call it. But they're learning how to lead out and perform a transitional attack on a porch fire on a second story single family structure. So we're gonna walk in, take a look at what they're doing. And remember, these are not firefighters. These are dispatchers. So there's some teaching points involved here and they're gonna talk about what they're doing. So this is what we call a hit team, hitting it hard from the yard. Like you'll hear it the radio. So they just basically piece up the fire. So they burn it. So they So you're probably saying, hey, Tim, they're not going in. Yeah, you're wrong. They're packing up now, they're pulling a cross leg, and they're going to go in. They're doing a proper transitional attack that we've been teaching down here at IFSI for about 25 years now. Kind of new to the rest of the country, pretty much commonplace in the state of Illinois. So we're going to lead out this cross leg right here and then make an interior attack. As you can see that we can offer hands-on training to almost any type of student that wants to attend our campus. These dispatchers just got here this morning. They got a safety brief. They had PPE checks, how to get dressed with PPE, how to put on an SCBA. And we're letting them operate at their speed. So to the Facebook keyboard warriors out there, these are not firefighters. These are dispatchers that answer the call in your hometown. They're trying to see what you're up against when you go out on the street. How many people it takes to move a hose line? 
how many people it takes to move a hose line inside a building, around corners, up doors, to the second floor, so that they have a better understanding of what you do. Our next stop is going to be at vehicle and machinery extrication. So we'll be headed over there in the next few minutes. If you see someone from your family that's operating here, tag them in and let them know that they saw them on Facebook so that we can share this all across the state. So once again, Tim Walsh coming to you live from the Illinois Fire Service Institute. We'll see you back in a few minutes.